This is a Mercedes-Benz C-Class 2.1 C200 CDI. It's the blue efficiency model. It's a sport with a 7G Tronic uh, automatic gearbox. And uh, nice to see the gear sticks in the place where it should be. Not over here where I uh, turn it off when I go to switch the wipers on. Car's done 73,532 miles. It is finished in a dark grey metallic. Um, I think it used to be called anthracite. Whether it still is or not, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, urban fuel consumption is 48.3. Extra urban, 64.2. And uh, combined is 58.5. So very, very economical. The least you should get is 48 miles to the gallon. 0 to 60 in 9.5 seconds. Top speed of 129 miles per hour out of a 136 brake horsepower engine. I shall just take you for a ride in it, but before I do, there we go, it's got height and reach adjustable steering wheel. It's showing that the service is overdue, but it's just not been reset by the previous uh, people who serviced it. Um, we are tracing the service history Unfortunately, it's one of these cars that have got a digital service history. Um, the owner, instead of just having a simple service book that's stamped up and that we can check, the owner gets uh, an invoice every time he goes to the garage and it's, it's held on the computer at uh, Mercedes-Benz. However, when the owner comes to sell the car, usually there's a big wallet with a all invoices with the name and address, usually credit card uh, receipts stapled to them. And the first thing to do is take them all out. So then it takes us 50, 60, 70 times longer to check the service history than it does if there's just a book and you can uh, ring the previous owners. So uh, stupid idea, digital service history is absolutely worst idea in the world but we're stuck with it. So uh, we'll just go for a quick ride today. Gus is here trying to cock us up. That's uh, the bus equivalent of a digital service history. You put a bus stop where there's an island in the road. So once the bus is there, nobody can get past. That's, that's enough moaning for today, sorry. It's not a horrendously bad day in the UK today. It uh, has been raining, snowing, sleeting, you name it, but there's a little bit of blue sky at the moment, so hopefully we can uh, complete this drive before it throws it down again. Nice car, great spec. It has the um, Mercedes-Benz Artico leather uh, seat bolsters and the centre panels are in grey like uh, patterned cloth. Very hard wearing. The uh, Artico leather looks like leather but is easier to maintain so looks as good and uh, easier to keep clean got automatic gearbox, got paddle shift, cruise control, speed limiter, let's just see will these go down here, power folding door mirrors, just check they all work, which is uh, one of the purposes of these test drive to make sure everything works before we actually put them on sale. showing eco at the moment we've got sports manual and economy there and switches you can also knock the gear stick over and uh, towards you to change gears but it's a really good really good gearbox in the mercedes-benz so you'd probably do that once in a blue moon and never touch that switch again 
We've got lumbar support there. The start stop, which uh, I need to switch off because that's that's about as good as digital service histories. Yeah, it's off again. Whoever invented that needs absolutely flogging. It's off again, on again, off again. Got sat nav, Bluetooth hands free. Feels like we've got a wheel wobble. Get that into drive with the um, paddle shift. that they have these days that um, looks like they've not put enough white on and the prime is showing through <laughs> I am in a bad mood today away at this next junction. So we've got kind of polished aluminium spokes on the sports steering wheel, matches the insets to the dash and door cards and also gear tunnel here. Uh, I've just knocked the eco button off so I'm assuming that's Mercedes-Benz for Stupid stop start button. It uh, really amazes me why you would have such a button. In my opinion, you save a few quid on fuel, but in the process, you wear out your starter motor, your flywheel, your engine mountings clutch if you have one um, or the uh, the assembly which ch changes gear on an automatic it just doesn't make economic sense to me on a manual car these days a, a clutch and flywheel can be 900 quid if it's a, a dual mass how much fuel can you buy for 900 quid. Really nice drive. Let's just get to the. Um, so that's one touch, not the cruise control button up, and it switches it on straight away. So just take it up a little bit, flick the switch up, that gets us to 70 miles an hour. 1600 revs nice and quiet and smooth but I can feel a wheel wobble through here 
so uh, if you watch this video and you come to buy the vehicle make sure to remind us just in case because uh, we're on a weekend now and uh, I have to get it in the workshop next week Got a fuel computer there in the center. Fuel gauge on the left, coolant temperature on the right, speedo in the center, along with your uh, fuel computer. Rev counters on the right, lights on the right. We've got automatic headlights there. I can't see if we've got auto. No, it's. Why you would hide the indicator behind the quarter three position again is beyond me. When you have, a, I've got a, a clear view here through the steering wheel and the foot brake, but I can't actually see the controls that I use all the time. I should really be in charge of car design the people who are doing this at the moment are making such a good job for, for every model not just stuff like that whether it's my I'm going to say whether I was just at, I'm just an awkward height but even so if I was sat the only way I'd be able to see that wiper stalk if I was driving like that so left hand side change down Right hand side, change up. I, uh, I do prefer that to where you can do press and, and pull. And I, I do prefer automatics these days, they, they are so good. Why would you want to be changing gear all the time? Which is basically what you do in a manual. We've got electric boot release here, and we've also got a um, closing option. Power close. If I uh, if I was to sit in the car like that lady did there, I would be able to see the indicators and the uh, wiper stalk. But unfortunately my nose will be touching the windscreen. Used to work for Mercedes Benz, big fag big fag. <laughs> big fan of Mercedes Benz. Usually Merck come up with things way, way before anybody else. And uh, then they filter down to the rest of the models, usually appear on their S-Class, something like that, and then filter down to all the rest of the models. And a couple of years later, the uh, run of the mill, other makes start to get them. Nice to drive, nice and comfortable. Seats are a little bit built up in the base and hold you in place on the backrest. use the gearbox for a little bit more engine brake in there. My, uh, when I started as a salesman at uh, Mercedes-Benz the first car I got there was a, a Mercedes C180 with an AMG body kit on and AMG wheels. Um, funnily enough, in this colour, it looked absolutely marvellous.
full of salt on the road. Just test the uh, wipers. These are these seem to be pretty good. And steering and suspensions absolutely excellent on this car. Brakes are good too. using the saloon version of, of this car a few weeks ago very very economical seven speed gearbox is uh, tremendous too front central armrest there we've got in there an auxiliary in and plenty of space for oddments and it quite well padded so nice to rest your arm on electric windows on the right hand side there electric door mirrors global locking CD radio here your air con controls here parking sensors I'm not sure whether on the front but probably on the back get everything you need in Mercedes Benz nothing you don't wiper switch is just as you can see from that camera your wiper stalks there the wiper switch is here that two inches in again you, you, you soon get to know when you're using it every day but uh, when you like us jumping in different cars different days everything's different and unless you can actually see it um, you're fumbling around like I don't know what Yeah, blades okay on the back there and uh, squirting across the screen. You've got there's a, a thumb wheel to adjust the rake of the seat at the bottom, the seat squab, and then you've also got height adjustment. And the uh, backrest adjustment, that, those are both electric. remote central locking
I swear nobody rings me unless I'm, I've got a camera switched on. trip computer there shows you uh, your average speed average miles per gallon how long you've been out how far you've traveled so there's 73,544 miles now Here we are back at the garage. No doubt that call was from a customer.